What's up, family? I'm actually at home right now. Um, I just want to just talk about something real quick, just as a warning um, to all parents out there, to all parents who have children, um, toddlers, young children um, that like to watch, you know, those PG movies in theaters, you know, the, the, the movies that, um, you know, the animated type movies and, you know, it's crazy, man. Um, I have a four-year-old and I have a three, uh, about to be three-year-old and uh, about to be one-year-old, right? So my wife and I had children back to back. Today, after picking them up from the daycare, you know, my wife had to go to worship practice. And I just was like, you know what? I usually take my kids to the park, you know, after school every day. And for all parents out there, man, you need to be in your children's life, especially for ministry, people in ministry, pastors and all that. It doesn't matter if you're in ministry. Your children, your your first, your home is your first ministry. So you know, I take my um, I take my children to the park. I take them to get ice cream. You know, we take I take them to uh, you know, throughout the week we do things. We have a you know we have we bond. Me and my two boys, because my young my youngest daughter, you know, she's really young and she's still you know with her mother a lot. You know, even though I see her a lot, you know, in the morning and at night. But anyways, I took my kids to um, Sinopolis, You know, IMAX. You know you know, high quality, you know, movie theater. We don't really go to the movies like that. We don't. I mean, I don't, I don't even watch TV regular, like, like at home, if I'm turning on my TV, it's either a sermon or, you know, Christian music, like worship or Christian rap. Like we rarely watch movies. I don't, my wife is watching some series called AD, which is like, um, it's kind of like The Chosen, but it's like more biblically sound. Um, for those that watch The Chosen, there's a lot of things that they've added and taken away from the word in that um that series. Um it's pretty good though. You know, the chosen's pretty good. I did I did hear that it's ran by Catholics. Um, not sure. Um, or Mormons or something like that. I don't know. Regardless, I don't really watch the chosen too much. But my wife does watch the AD, not chosen, but the AD um show, which is pretty cool, man. I, I watched the AD show with her a few times when I'll come home or be in the kitchen. And it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty dope. But anyways, we went to the movie theater and I was like, you know, before we went, I was just Googling real quick, like what movies can we watch, right? And the only movie they had out that was like PG where my children, you know, would potentially like was the Panda, the Kung Fu Panda um, part four. And I was like, all right, you know, I've never seen part one, two or three. I don't even know what it is. Um, again, I don't go to the movies. And my kids are just now at the age where um, my boys, where they can like actually watch a movie and enjoy it. So we went, man, and we, uh, and, you know, we went to the movie theater, got them some popcorn and pizza. And they're, you know, super happy, excited. They're like, you know, oh, yeah, we're going to go to see Kung Fu Panda. They never seen part one, two or three either. And I'm like, OK, this is going to be good. You know, it's a PG movie. It's about some panda, Kung Fu. You know, it looks pretty like cartoonish, just childish, like. Let's see, man, we go in there, right? And I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I had, had everything. My children, they had everything they wanted. They had the little lemonade. They had the pizza, the popcorn. There's in the comfortable seat. It was those comfortable seats, not the reclining ones, but the ones that are really comfortable. And, you know, we're just, we're just chilling. Previews, everything is good. And then the beginning of the movie starts. And the panda comes out, the, the, the main character. The, I forgot the name of the, the panda. I guess Kung Fu Panda. And he begins to bring out a staff. He brings out a staff and he says, this staff is a staff that allows you to, en to enter the realms. He says the spirit, he literally says, enter the realm so you can enter the spirit realm. And I said, what did this, did this panda just say? What? And it, because man, I haven't watched a child, a, ch a child movie in so long. Like when I used to watch child movies back in like, you know, the early 2000s, you know, when I was a child or even like the 1990s, from what I remember, like I used to watch like Rugrats and like um, Rocket Power. Um, what was it? Ed, Ed and Eddie. Um, what's some other ones? Um, the Simpsons. But even, I didn't really watch the Sim Simpsons. My mom didn't. My mom and my, my parents didn't really let me watch that. But like I'm talking about like Cartoon Network type, mov type movies, right? Roly Poly Oly, like recess, you know, stuff like that, right? And, I, you know, I, I didn't remember it being, like, demonic like this, bro. And I'm watching this Kung Fu Panda movie. Like, what? This staff allows this panda to enter the realms 
That's what he says, word for word. And he said spirit realm after he said realms. I said, what? And it was like a staff of wisdom. And I'm sitting there like, are you kidding me? This, is, this can't be real, bro. And then, and then my son, Richard III, who's, who just turned four, he's like, Dad, Dad, I don't want to be here no more. I want to go home. And for my son to say he wants to go home after he has popcorn, lemonade, and pizza, he was asking me to go to the movies. So like, before we came to the movies, I said, son, you guys want to go to the park or you guys want to go to the movies? You decide. And they love the park. We go to the park almost every day. They go, they go ham in the park on the monkey bars, running around. They love it. And the park's like down the street, four minutes away from, the, from their preschool. They love the park. They could be there for hours, right? But then my son says, in, in the beginning, I'm talking about 10 minutes into the movie, not even. Dada, I want to go home. I said, what? I said, son, you rather go home. I said, son, if we go home, you got to go to sleep. Because when we get home, you got to take a bath and go to sleep. And right now they're taking a bath. I'm going to go, um, you know, get him out the bath in a little bit. And I said, you got to take a bath and go, and go to sleep. I said, and he was like, I want to go home. I said, so you'd rather go home and go to sleep than watch Kung Fu Panda? He said, yeah, I want to go home. Didn't finish his pizza. Didn't even want to eat. Just, just, just put everything down. And I'm like, this is crazy. Like, he really is discerning right now that this movie's demonic. And I peeped it too. My two-year-old, you know, he's, he's, he's two, you know, so he's not at that level of understanding when it comes to words or... I don't know, just he just not like that. So he's just looking too, and then they're both like, Dada, I want to sit on your lap. I want to sit on your lap. And I'm like, they don't even want to sit in their seat. They're getting kind of scared. And I said, you know what? Nah, this ain't gonna happen. They're not gonna get no spirit because of this, this movie. I said, let's go. We out. I spent the money that I, you know, I spent. We out of this thing. Let's go. And and you know what I'm saying? 10 minutes into the movie, we dip, went home. They're happy, they're not tripping. You know what I'm saying? I got the to-go to -go box for the, the food. They'll eat the rest later. And I said, man, it is what it is. And I said, wow, man. And I'm driving in the car. I'm so proud of my son. But, you know, the Lord used my son to just verify it, to confirm it. Because I'm not going to front when they started saying realms and spirit realm. I was like, dang, man. I was like, this is bad. Maybe they don't understand it. You know, it's, it's a cartoon. Maybe it won't get that bad. But then, like, the panda went to, like, the yogi and... They're talking about going into the realms to fight the, the, the viper thing and the dragon thing and all these like demonic principalities. And I'm like, bro, this is in the open, dog. This is in the open, bro. I was like, man, this is wild. They're like, they're literally desensitizing this for the children. They're des and even the previews I was watching, the movies look so demonic. Robots in the wilderness, robots. Like, like, like animals now, like, like it's just weird stuff where they're, they're training the kids' minds for it to be normal so that when they get older, it's more appealing to them. So then Christianity or following Jesus, it's, it's, that, it becomes fictional because it's not, it's not, it's just, it's just wild to me, bro. So I, I was very, I was so proud of my son, man. I said, good job, son. You're very smart. You're a very smart boy and, and, and. You know, thank God, and I didn't care about the waste of money. I said, God, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, um, you're gonna, you're gonna get it back to me. I know you will, Lord. And I just, I just left. And man, it just made it made me really think. I'm like, and then the other day, uh, my 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 um my nine month old, she's watching a regular man. This is crazy. A regular. Hey, turn the water off. Turn the water off. Or well, if I don't tell them that, they're gonna overflow the tub. But my nine-month-old, she's watching a regular, um, you know, eight like teaching you how to do ABCs channel. It's a, and like it's not Christian. It's just a regular one. You wouldn't even expect it. My wife put it on, and I'm walking in the kitchen, and I hear the the the, the channel say W for witch, and a witch pops up on a broom. W for witch, and I'm sitting there like, bro, are you serious? And it was a whole witch on a broom, a green witch, on the screen for this is for this is for like less than a year. This, my baby's less than a year. I said, bro, what? What? And I literally was like, from now on, babe, I told my, my, my wife, we're gonna put, we're gonna put, you know, show for toddlers, Christian. We're gonna like literally Christian. Show for toddlers, Christian. 
Like everything we have to put Christian at the end. I'm like, bro, I pray in this revival period, man, Christians step up and start penetrating Hollywood, man. Like this is avenues. This is like avenues to really be exalted in Christ. Mantles are, are waiting for people to take, to pick up, man, for real. Kids shows and, and, and different things, bro. It's, it's there. And I, and I found some good um, toddler shows for Christians where they teach you like Bible stuff, like Noah and like, they use, they use Bible characters like, you know, like A for Adam and, and you know, B for Beth and all. And I, and I was like, okay, this is better. You know, my children, man, they're being raised in the faith. They go to sleep with, this is just to help, this is to help parents out. You got to pray. I know how witches and warlocks move, bro. I know how the enemy moves, the satanic side. I'm exposing so much, so much darkness. We're winning souls. We're a spiritual, a supernatural ministry. The enemy doesn't like it, obviously. So the closer I get to Jesus, you know, the more he reveals to me on, you know, how to move. And he's taught me how to protect my children in the realm of the spirit and the physical. You know what I'm saying? And, and so when I, when, before I go to sleep at night or before they go to sleep, they already know what time it is. My sons, they, they, can't, they literally will not go to sleep unless Dada prays. Because they know when I say, okay, it's time to pray. They put their PJs on, get them, you know, they lay down. They put on, and I, they have a TV in the room. I put on a worship instrumental. I put on a worship instrumental, you know, a black screen worship instrumental. So they're in, they're, they're in that, 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 you know, that, that, that good presence, that good sound. And then I begin to literally begin to pray. You know, I begin to pray. You ask my son, you say, you say, hey, Richard, what does your dad do at night? Does he pray for you? He'll say, yeah. I say, and you ask him, how does he pray? He'll start speaking in tongues. I pray in tongues. I worship. The presence of God comes. I declare the word over them. I lay hands on them. I prophesy over them every night, every single night. I anoint their, their, their room with oil every now and then, periodically. I bring out the oil and anoint them, like especially on service nights after casting out a bunch of demons and seeing a bunch of supernatural stuff at the church on, on you know, Saturdays, I'll lay hands on them. I'll pray, put some oil on them. They sleep like a baby. My son the other day told um told one of the um sisters in the church said that uh, uh that there was an angel in his room. He he literally at four years old saw an angel in his room. Like that's something I'm gonna tell him when he gets older. He literally said that he saw an angel in his room before he said he said he said he's, he has dreams. He's like I had a dream of Jesus. Jesus was in my dreams. I literally pray in, my, in their room. I say, Lord, let a Jacob's ladder be in here, heavenly portal, Lord. Let, angel, let, <clears throat> let angels ascend and descend in this room. Let your presence be in here, a wall of fire around this room, your glory in the mist. I plead the blood over the walls, over them in the name of Jesus. May your protection be here in Jesus' name. I pray over the house. I pray over the property. And this is about 30 minutes to an hour every night. And that's just protecting the, protecting the you know what I'm saying? Protecting the home. It's not a joke, bro. We're in the last hour. We need to pray. Witches and warlocks, they're not going to be able to astral project or send any, any spirits to hit you, to hit, to come into this home when you're a prayed up Christian. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, man, it's real. It's real, it's real, it's real. But yeah, man, I saw uh, today my son literally said, hey, dad, let's leave. He said, dad, dad, let's go home. We are watching Kung Fu Panda. My son loves to eat. He, lo like, man, he, lo he was so excited to go to the movies. He chose the movies over the park. That's rare. And man, he wanted to leave. Turn the water off. He chose them. He chose the. He chose to leave and go home, than to stay there and watch a movie within probably less than ten minutes into the movie. I thank God, man, for His favor, um, just for His blessings, His protection, man, that He used my son to confirm. And we did, man. I didn't feel bad at all. Jeremiah wasn't even crying. Jeremiah said, okay, okay, my two-year-old. Because, man, Kung Fu Panda, man, they're talking about realms, the spirit realm. They're talking about, I remember the, the, the panda was getting discipled by one of his gurus. It was like a little cat or something like that saying, oh, you need to just ask the universe. Ask the universe and the universe will answer. And use the sword, or the, he, said, he said, the staff of wisdom and the staff. And I'm like, bro, is this real? Is this real? It's crazy, bro. We are in the end of times. God bless you guys. I just wanted to make this quick video to warn parents. Be careful watching that Kung Fu Panda movie. And to be honest, make sure you check every movie that you're letting your kids watch. Because I don't even know no more. I went to Harry Potter. Like, look, 
that was like three months ago. The, the Holy Spirit had me evangelizing in Universal alone, solo. I went evangelizing in Universal. It was powerful, encounter after encounter. I went to Harry Potter land, bro. They literally have sorcerers, like witches and warlocks training that you could train to become a witch and warlock in the Universal. People watch, like, it's, it's just, it's so satanic. It's not even funny. If you guys don't know, you know, we're, we're near Orlando. So this is where a lot of witchcraft is, man, for real. It's crazy, bro. I never thought Kung Fu Panda would be demonic like that. Straight new age and witchcraft. And it's deep. It's not even like some surface level stuff where you got to like, or not, not surface level. It's not some like stuff where you got to like maybe assume it. It's not even like hidden. It's like in the open. This panda said, this staff allows me to access the realms, the spirit realm, pray to the universe, the staff of wisdom and fighting dragons and, and serpents. And, and I'm like, bro, like, this is teaching, this is desensitizing astral projection and new age and witchcraft. So when they get older, they're like, oh, I know what that is. It be, it's normal to them in their subconscious. When, when somebody talks about accessing the spirit realm and realms, it's normal to them. Think about the, the, the parents that just don't really pay attention to what their kids watch. Bro, I'm telling you, bro, regular, regular shows, man. I, I, there's been times, man, I'm in the car, my son's on, on their iPad, and I hear something crazy where I'm like, there's been times where like regular shows, like they, they start promoting homosexuality, same mommy, same, like, you know, mommy and mommy, daddy and daddy. And I'm like, bro, heck nah. I'll be like, change it. When, when, they know when I say change it, turn that off. They turn it off real quick. Then we got to block the channel, bro. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy, bro. Y'all go check it out, man. God bless you for real. Salute. This Saturday is going to be a powerful service. You don't want to miss it. I'm going to be preaching on covenants. I'm going to be preaching on altars, how to destroy demonic ones, how to build up good ones. You don't want to miss that service. Um, for the next few Saturdays, I'm going to be preaching powerful messages on something that the Lord really downloaded on my heart. Um, and man, it's about to get real at the rock. So if you've been thinking about coming, now's the time to come, man. Man, last service, if you haven't seen it, the healing was crazy. So many miracle healings. In the, I mean, in the atmosphere, the anointing of healing was evident, the peace of God. People were getting healed. People were, were literally like, miracles were just breaking out. And I wasn't even touching people. The Holy Spirit was having his way. Um, we're falling more and more in love with Jesus at the rock, man. And we want to just impart that onto you so you can spark revival in your area. If you're wondering how to get boldness to evangelize or boldness to do this and that, it's straight. It's, it's about loving Jesus, falling in love with him. You know what I'm saying? He's coming back soon. He's coming back soon. So if you're in the local area, pull up to Apopka, Faith and Power Worship Center. Go look it up online. Um, show up on Saturday. Doors open up at 6.30. Come early. We start worship at around 6.50, 7 o'clock. Get there on time for, for worship. You, you feel me? Come, come, on, come on there. It's going to be powerful. It's going to be powerful. Have a good time with us. Let's worship the Lord in spirit and truth. Let's, 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 let's. If you need healing, come and get healed. If you need deliverance, come and get delivered. If you need, if you need whatever it is, just come and, and I'm telling you, at the house of God, everything you need is there. So I want to see you there. If you're coming this Saturday in person, I want you to put a fire emoji. If you're going to be joining online for the service on Saturday, I want you to put a one in the chat. But for real, man, come from out of the country, from out of the state. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be good, man. And we do have revivals planned, planned for the year to go to different places um, around the world. So, hey, I see you, Nina. God bless you, Nina. Turn the water off. God bless you, man, for all those that are coming in person online. Tune in online. You can still receive a miracle online. Receive what you need online, man. I'm telling you, Jesus Christ is real. He's Lord. He's King. He wants a relationship with you. Falling in love with Jesus is everything. We are located in, a, in Apopka, Florida. You can check all the, the information in my bios. All the information is there. Remnant Revival Outreach Center. God bless y'all. If, if you just tuned in, go and watch from the beginning later. I love you guys. Salute my soldiers. Jesus is coming back. Believe the gospel. Repent. Give your life to Jesus. He's waiting on you. I got to go help these kids get out the, the bath, give them um, their towel and all that. So daddy duties, I'm out. God bless y'all in Jesus name.